First stop of the day, we're at Michael's currently. I need like a, um, almost like a square cookie cutter, I guess. We don't need that, baby girl. Hi, Hunter. All right. Um. I'm so distracted. You're distracted. Here's um actually, this might work. This has a bunch of different squares, and kind of that medium one right there. What bunch? Yes, just do not go anywhere, okay? Um, this might work for what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to grab that. And we're probably... Hey, babe. We'll grab like an Easter craft or something, babe. Tons and tons and tons of crafts, but we picked out... I don't know what it's technically called, but it's like the little beads that you put on. And then found something. What the heck? What's so funny? This <laughs> feels so... What? This feels so weird. Feel it. Oh, I have a nail, but no, it does feel funny. But we got this too, so with those two items, we can get out of here. And that is our first stop. He's red in the face because he won't stop crying. <laughs> that was an utter nightmare. For some reason, Hunter like refuses to go to sleep right now. So he's awake and kept fussing throughout the whole store. And then... I just, I was having a hard time finding what I needed. And then I, we went through like the checkout line and then there was like Easter baskets. She's picking one out and I look up and then it's just like all these people behind me and I'm like, go. I'm like, no, no, I said, I'm not in line. Like I moved over. So it's just like, oh my God, for someone who's just has social anxiety, that was just, that was not fun. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't fun. But the first tour of the day is done. Mom, um, I'm not Oh my gosh, you're not buckled. Holy crap. Thank you for telling me, bud. Hold that thought. <sighs> even when <sighs> even when I cry when I'm still I just I wanna cry. Alright, stop number two. We are at Bye Bye Baby because I am in desperate need for a baby carrier, so that's kind of my goal. So I wanted one of these kinds of things. Because he's actually turning a month old next week. So we need that. I ended up, um, after we left Bye Bye Baby, I haven't vlogged anything. I just, I ended up returning something at the store real quick. So we just, we finished up our errands and then I ended up just letting her play. I was going to take her to the park today, but I ran out of time. But tomorrow, um, On Monday. Yes, Monday is going to be even nicer than today. So I'm going to take her tomorrow to the park. We're running out of time because we're going to my yeah. in-laws too. Mimi, give me something for Happy Valentine's Day. One. Both of them did, right? What? Both Mimi's got you something for Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> so the first Mimi was vanilla Mimi. She gave me a on a bunch of moon. I hair. think that was Christmas stuff, sweetie. Okay, dog. Um, trying to get myself situated real quick. I'm gonna leave um. Mr. Hunter as is for a minute, just so I can unbox him. I can see him though. Okay, yeah, right here. Thank you, honey. I just, I just wanted Hunter a little bit closer next to us, but um, I'm going to uh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the first place that we had gone to was Michael's. I showed you guys this briefly. I don't know if anyone had these as a kid, but they're really awesome. They have like little like you take the beads and you put them on like little spiky things and then you melt them down and then you have like completed thing i don't know i'm assuming there's like molds or something in here I Not think molds, you but... can play with them yeah after you make them you can play with them but we're gonna save that because we're on vacation we have all week to play with that and then we can got do that at Mimi's house no no not tonight i mean that's not a terrible idea but all the small pieces um, and then this was the cookie cutter thing that I got. So I just wanted to take a super quick look at the sizes. So I'm considering doing, I've talked about rice, um, I've talked about cake pops. I've talked about whoopie pies to sell at my old job, but I kind of want to do Rice Krispie treats. And now looking at these, I'm not sure if these are going to work out. Is this smaller? Let me see. 
All right, so that's the smallest one, to be honest with you, because I was originally looking at this size, but this size might be way too big. Um, but there is this size. Let me see. I need that, honey. Um, there's this size, which might be perfect. I'm going to leave these two in here. This size might be perfect. So, they, like, I originally wanted them longer. Um, I don't know. I think I'll probably try. Let me see. No, no, I'm gonna put these away. I think I'm gonna try them and see how they turn out. I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet, but I can put those away. So I'm gonna put those aside real quick, and then, oh, Ella, this was the Easter basket I was talking about. <laughs> so she got an Easter basket to collect eggs because we do that every year as well. Um, and then the last thing, so I went to Michael's originally because I wanted a baby baby carrier to like hold Hunter if I'm doing chores around the house. But who the heck looked at that product and was like, 100%, it's worth $90. Ugh. Call me cheap, but I don't like putting my hard-earned money into something that I'm not going to use for more than three months. You know what I mean? If it was like $30, sure. Like, it, you know, but 90 really? So I didn't end up buying it. It, nobody wants to see that <laughs> so the so I did end up there was a one other thing I want to get while I was there I showed you guys briefly in the store but I mentioned that Hunter is turning a month old next week and I didn't do this with Ella so I decided maybe I'll do it this time but I just basically like I got just a big board um, that you write like what month they are and I don't know you just kind of keep track of stuff so I think I want to write on that no not it's not for you to write on honey but um i don't know so we're gonna we're gonna try it next month and ella's completely taking over the <laughs> camera so like i said right like right now literally i'm gonna go throw her in the bath so there's nothing else exciting going on so i will bring you guys throughout the week when this we is actually more stuff. my favorite one yeah maybe i'll even bring you guys back when we try this thing and show you some of the things that we create with this little bead set so i don't know oh, wait I, just, I actually have my, we'll see all of my favorite animals it actually has a deer you can do this deer anyway i'm sure there's like want. tons of different animals you can you, do this you can, seven projects two thousand beads so i don't know and then this i'm probably gonna try i gotta go to um i don't have marshmallows well i do but not enough i don't have rice crispy treats i don't have enough butter but so and i wanted to do like plain rice crispy treats m m ones and then chocolate dipped ones so look at this one actually you can do any yeah. any color you want to do with these animals i think i could do brown and pink on a deer mm -hmm. and black Right, green, a yellow, and pink for this one. White, brown, a dark brown, and yellow for this one. And the colors okay, are this one. We have to leave in less than an hour, so let's go get you in the bath because we need time for your hair to dry too. So I'll pack this stuff away for now, get the kids ready to go, and then my night is pretty much spoken for. I'm trying to go straight. Where are you? <laughs> So this morning, I'm actually going to work in a little while, but I wanted to open what I showed you guys because I think I'm going to try to take some of Hunter's photos today because um, today is Monday and he'll be a month old on Wednesday. So I want to take some photos so that I can post them. So I figured because I'm opening it anyways, I would open it on camera, show you guys what actually comes inside it. Don't leave it. What's the matter, love bug? Do you want your... Let's see if he wants his pacifier. Uh, keep going. I got the kids here. <laughs> All right, let's see what actually what it actually looks like. I want to see if it actually real. If it's already like colored already, that is so awesome. I don't think it is. I think that's just a sticker. Um, okay, so this thing, this is just plastic. Let me see because I don't want. Sorry, I'm not reading any. Um, this is just a plastic covering on top. So once you take that off, you're left with a blank board. Okay. So it comes with a blue, a pink, a white, a green, and a yellow, and an orange. I'm going to take out the blue chalk, and I think I'll use the green too, but I'm going to start with blue. We'll start with his name. 
not very center though. Got his name. I could have wrote it a maybe a little bigger, but so he is. All right, I'm trying. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> so there's one month. I'm gonna take out another color as well, so it's not all, just all blue. Oh, to be honest with you, I don't know how. It says how tall am I? I don't know how tall he is. He was um. <coughs> he was 20 inches at birth, so maybe 21 inches i'm guessing <laughs> next month i'll um measure <clears throat> measure him <clears throat> excuse me but we're just gonna go with 21 inches <laughs> he's, like, he's like a little bit taller because he, i just like how, to, how tall he is i oh i'm writing 29 why am i writing 29 <laughs> maybe the next thing says, oh, getting so big. How? Oh, 20 pounds. Oh, God. He was, I think, 10 at his last appointment. <laughs> so I'm going to guess probably 11 pounds, right around 11 pounds. So, all right. 11 pounds. W-O. 11 pounds. Um, my favorite, so they wrote like, oh, um, Play. sleeping. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was pressing too hard. And pooping. <laughs> Those are his favorite things to do right now. Pooping. And in parentheses, I'll write farting. <laughs> That's his favorite. And crying. <laughs> so sleeping and pooping, in parentheses, farting, are his oh. current favorites. <laughs> and then he I can. can, he can sleep. Well, yeah, but he can roll over. The on oh. my Bell. side. Honestly, I might have to take him out in a second. He's kind of not having it. What's the matter, Nugget? What's the matter, Nugget? Hi. You got lots of boogies. What's the matter? You just want to be held, or is there something wrong? I think it just wants to be held, maybe. So I only have one more section anyways, and it says I love. So I love he loves his family, right? So what do we say, mom, dad, and Ella? And I'll just write my family. So my and a a m e l i I love my family. How's that look? What do you think? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do like a little photo shoot with him soon. I don't know if now is a great time because he doesn't seem like super duper happy. Um, I don't know, maybe after a bottle. But my mom did just text me, so I need to see what she said first. So Cool though, but the chalk works pretty well. It's pretty good chalk. I'm actually going to work this morning. I am um, <clears throat> going back to work uh, part time because we actually have like a main person not a main person but like somebody who works quite a lot they put in their two weeks to go work i don't know for something he's going to school for i'm not sure um but he's leaving so we really needed the help so my mom i'm leaving too you're just on vacation <laughs> normally you would be in school right now yeah but oh, my baby. maybe he's gonna babysit me and hunter and well, then he lost his patsy. Me and Hunter are going to chocolate mimics to get babysit. And 
Just Ma for a little while. I really got to get my nails done yeah. before I go to and, work. And Ma Mom packed me a beady set. You can you can bring an iron to melt them. Yeah, I showed them. Remember yesterday? Wait for it to cool off, and, and then you can start playing with it. Yeah. You remember I showed them yesterday? Yeah. That thing. We're going to bring that thing over to Mimi's today, right? Mm-hmm. Because we're going to do it today. And you're going to be the biggest helper ever with Mimi, yeah. right? To take mm -hmm. care of Hunter? Yeah, but after one mama picks me up, she's going to bring me to a park. Yes. I told her yesterday we'd go to a park. We ran out of time. We already talked about that, but I told her that. Because my mom doesn't want to travel on, with both kids, Monday, which I don't blame her. On Monday, we're going to go to a park. Today is Monday. I know. <laughs> Careful. Don't put any pressure on him. Um, but yes, when I pick you guys up, I'm going to bring you to a park. And we went to a mall because we didn't have time to go to the park for me to play. <laughs> yeah, I had to return something, remember? Yeah, but... Do you not want the lady, the lady was there with the rolly animals, but Mom did not say we can't do it today. I need to do that when we have Daddy, right? Yeah. But I told her if she can push Hunter in his little thing, he can roll around and now now just sit on that animal. Yeah, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> She's talking about these like mechanical animals. I'm sure if you have a local mall, I'm sure they're at your mall. They they like, I don't know, there are these animals and you roll on them and ride them or whatever. I don't know. Fake animals. They're like robot animals. They're basically power wheels, but animals. So anyways, um, I probably have like a half hour before I, know, I have to pack them up. I know there's more, but they're not animals. They're, co they're actually cars and they're um roller power they're fake they have roller power yeah oh, okay they're fake okay they're real. we gotta go brush your teeth finish <sighs> getting you ready yeah we gotta finish getting you ready i packed you some strawberries for a snack with a juice box and the diaper bag is all packed i think we're pretty much good to go i just gotta brush your teeth we're probably gonna wait till hunter <clears throat> gets in the my car my butt sticky out oh why would you pull down your pants <laughs> my butt was itchy <laughs> gonna find myself a spot to park it i brought um i just picked the kids up from my mom's and i brought them to the park it's uh, I, there's snow on the ground but it's deceiving it's like 60 degrees out 63 degrees it's really nice so um, we don't have that much daylight and to be honest i gotta get home to start dinner and feed this one soon this one by meaning hunter um but i figured even an hour of um fresh air would be really nice for her so oh, i finally got my nails fixed too <laughs> did that first thing this morning it, i'm currently witnessing um four seven eight year old boys pretending that they're pregnant <laughs> with their basketball <laughs> so we finally just got home to be honest with you hunter is gonna wake up any second for a bottle so i'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot right now but i'm hoping to be able to start um but i went to the store oh this is just um she brought those beads to my mom's one of her sweaters jacket and a little bath toy i did go to best buy because i just i needed one of these i needed a mount i vlog with my phone um and it's great if you guys are here because i can rest you on my windowsill um, baby, can you take all these horses to the playroom, please? Thank you. I'm going to start dinner. So first thing is first, I do want to try this because I need to, I don't want to hold on to the receipt if I don't need to. This will just be nice to have in the house for vlogging. That way I'm not like constantly looking for ways to prop you guys up on and give you decent angles. Honestly, and it was pretty inexpensive. It was like 25 something under $30 definitely okay 
so it comes with the little tripod. Why would it come with a USB cable? I don't know. I mean, I'll take it, but, <laughs> um, but this tripod is also used for, um, GoPros and everything. So that's pretty cool. Why are we not? And it's small, which means it's portable. So that's always nice. So it just opens like that. It does extend, which is super nice. Um, and it does pivot as well. I'm sorry. He's making noises. I can't tell if it's, I'm going to wake up noises or I'm just sleeping noises. Um, it does, you know, hold a regular camera as well, as well as the GoPro. Um, but then we have this. Oh my gosh. Now the cat is meowing at me. So this is really easy. This just twists it on. And then of course, oops, this is what is going to hold my phone. So let me get you guys on this thing. Little wonky. Definitely we'll have to play around with it, but hey, it works. So that's cool. So I, like, I'm just excited that I'll be able to bring you guys like around the house anywhere and be able to prop you guys up. So that's really exciting. Really happy about that. Honestly, I'm probably just going to toss the receipt. Um, it's a pretty simple concept. It's just a tripod, but I do want to keep the accessories and I'll just keep the instructions this here as well. So this needs to come upstairs with me. So I bought a bunch of stuff to make dinner. I am not going to show you me making dinner tonight. I'm making like pork chops. I have some potatoes. I'm going to peel for mashed potatoes. I have some corn. I have some rice for her because she doesn't like mashed potatoes. So I'm not going to show you guys dinner, but after dinner, I want to make some rice crispy treats. So I had to go to the store and get some stuff for that. Um, these are not part of them, but I found them. I thought they were so cute, but I found a whole bunch of like cookie cutters. So we have the heart, the bunny one for Easter, a butterfly one, a star one, a flower one. Did I get two hearts? Oh, I must have gotten two hearts, but this one's like a smooth heart, a rainbow, and a unicorn. And to be honest, I would have picked up boy ones too, but they really what like they weren't like dinosaurs or anything. Um, I needed some grated cheese for dinner. Oh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> this thing finally came in. This is what I was talking about. Right now I have a blanket on him, but if he's sleeping, no blanket. See? So it's his own like little space. He's in my bed right now. Usually, usually it's in his crib, but he just ate. Hi, Kenny. Good morning. We're just kind of hanging out right now. I'm waiting for well, Ella woke up, but it's still early. It's not even seven yet. So I told her to just rest for a little while. Hey, he spit up a little. I'm not sure what time I have work today or what time, what time my mom's going to be available. But I didn't make those Rice Krispie treats yet. It got too late. Um, and I didn't, I really didn't want to make the mess. So I'm going to say that for today. So that's why I'm kind of like continuing the vlog into today. But I just want to say good morning. Good morning. Do you see yourself? Oh. <laughs> good morning, honey bunny. <laughs> I'll link this thing that I found on Amazon below. But just keep in mind that it almost took two months to get to me. Oh. What's the matter? I know. That's scary. Two months. Two months, Hunter. <laughs> trying to put... Right. <laughs> That's crazy. That's too funny. Alright, guys. So, I just got back from work. Um, got my kiddos all settled in. Um, so, we're going to try to make these Rice Krispies. So, I do have a little recipe here that I'm going to follow. So it requires six cups of Rice Krispie treats that I've already measured out, six tablespoons of unsalted butter. So I'm not gonna need this entire stick. Um, a fourth tablespoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a 10 pound, or sorry, 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows, and then half a cup of sweetened condensed um, milk, which is in here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually toast the cereal. 
Sorry, I know it is a bit dark, but I brought you over to my stove. Um, this says to heat the skillet at medium heat. So I'm just gonna give this a second to heat up. If you hear the music, by the way, <laughs> that's where it's coming from. Now that this is heated, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cereal. And then I'm just gonna let this heat um, for about five to seven minutes and I'm gonna stir it occasionally uh, until we get some nice color. But the next step is to brown the butter. So I'm gonna start browning the butter in this pot over here. Definitely wanna make sure that the cereal is getting moved around because you're getting some kind of browner bits on the bottom and I just, I really, really, really don't want them to burn. Now I'm browning my butter. Um, so the temperature is on low and it's starting to boil and foam a little bit and it should quickly change color uh, and darken in just a minute. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna stir in the milk. Incorporate it nicely into the butter and then I'm gonna let this mixture boil for one minute actually finding that the butter and the milk are like not Combining whatsoever. So let's see what happens after it boils. So let me turn up the heat And we'll see honestly, it looks kind of crazy at the moment at this point. I'm gonna add in my oh God. Turn it down and then add in my vanilla and my salt and then working kind of quickly I want to start adding in my marshmallows so we're gonna um, melt half of it at a time I'm gonna just kind of eyeball oh, that was definitely more than half Whoops. that's okay we're gonna start with this make sure it's still at a lower temperature <laughs> I did off to the side line a baking sheet with some parchment paper just so the marshmallow doesn't stick to the baking sheet itself. Um, and it's kind of like the perfect height of where I want these marshmallows to be. So I'm hoping that one batch will be enough. Um, but this is also kind of a test because it's the first time that I'm following this particular recipe. But now that this is completely melted, I have to work kind of quick. Um, so I'm going to keep the heat on low and I'm going to start adding my Rice Krispies. And then I'm just going to mix until this is completely incorporated. And I wish I could pivot you guys down a little bit farther, but here's my sheet. And I'm gonna take my pot. And we're gonna dump it right on there. Should come out pretty, I mean, relatively smoothly. First, I'm gonna try to smooth it out using the spoon and I might not use the whole width of the baking sheet because I'm more so looking for height than I am length. Hello. <laughs> I'm just, you know, trying to level Rice Krispies, but I do want a pretty even layer height wise. So again, even if I'm not using the entire baking sheet, I'm more looking for just the uniformity. So I just don't have like the perfect baking sheet size or like glass bowl size, anything. I don't have the right size that I'm necessarily looking for, which is one batch of this. 
So just doing my best to make it as even as possible. Now honestly, it starts setting up pretty quick, so you do want to work kind of fast. Now keep in mind that this batch in particular is just like an original Rice Krispie treat. I will, um, I am planning on doing like mixing in M&Ms to some, doing some for um, St. Patty's Day. So this is just an experiment for the recipe and for, to see how much this gives me. So I'm just kind of using my fingers to square off the edges to make them look a little cleaner. Just looking at the height, it seems pretty good. Push in a little bit more, but I'm gonna let these completely set. I'm gonna wash up a little bit, and then we will try. Um, we'll try the product. We'll cut it up. Ouch! <laughs> we'll cut it up and we'll try the product. See how much we get out of one batch too. But I am pretty happy with it. I mean, it's really simple, but it's yummy.